Hey, hey, so the guest inside my program. She's having a coffee. Should she have sugar or should she have sweetener? Dun, 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 dun. And the answer for this one, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you a quick one right now, is the pretty much the exact same answer I give everyone uh, when they ask me what foods they should eat. Do you know what we do on the Six Steps to Slim program? All we do is we teach people how fast their metabolism is. So how many calories does somebody need, personally for them, personally for you, how many calories do you require before you start gaining weight back? So what's the most you can eat? How many calories do you need to stay the same weight? And then how many calories would it take for a good rate of weight loss? And then you can do whatever you want. You can take your calories as high or as low as you want. It, it's, it's entirely in your control, isn't it? If you know how many calories you can consume and you know what calories are in stuff, you're good to go. You can eat whatever you want. So this lady, let's say she's going for 1,600 calories per day. So that would be a nice rate of weight loss for her. She can spend that 1,600 on anything she wants. Can she have pizza? Yep. Wine? Yep. Sugar in coffee? Yep, it's kind of like your bank balance, and I'm the banker. I don't. Care. You get paid a certain amount per month, like you've got a certain amount of calories per day. I don't care what you spend it on, as long as you don't go overdrawn. That's the game. Some people like to spend sixty a month on a phone contract. Some people think that sounds freaking ridiculous, don't they? Some people don't mind spending twenty calories for a teaspoon of sugar, or forty calories for two teaspoons of sugar. Some people think that sounds freaking ridiculous don't they it's entirely up to you and it's your preference so advantages and disadvantages i mean they both make the coffee or whatever you're putting in taste sweeter don't they the sugar's got 20 calories the sweeteners have got none that's about it you can spend it on whatever you want some people like the taste of artificial sweeteners some people don't there are lots of different types of artificial sweeteners as well like the sucralose aspartame stevia there's loads of different ones you can get and they do taste different they do have different tastes so don't just try one sweetener and think oh i don't like it you can try lots of different ones i'm just kicking the camera there for a sec you can try different ones um but it's calorie free essentially and there's been a lot of lies and myths and deceit i suppose going around about artificial sweeteners forever hasn't there and um coincidentally uh this sunday at the showroom cinema in the center of sheffield in the morning i am lecturing to my members because we have meetings and they're optional nobody has to come because we have people all around the country using the program so and it's not like slimming world uh it's not like oh, we go, go go around you've lost this much oh you haven't lost anything what have you done wrong have you eaten your sins oh you've lost this much well done and then everybody gets weird in public in some kind of peer pressure thing and then we all go home like that's achieved something no. <laughs> Instead, I give one of the lectures from the actual Six Steps to Slim program. So I teach some of the course content for about 45 minutes. People can ask questions, they can make notes, we can do goal setting in person. Um, they can be involved, they can meet me, they can meet the other coaches, they can meet other people that are also running the program. It's really nice. Coffees, teas, have a little drink, sit down, learn some stuff, um, chat to us afterwards, stuff like that. Anyway, this Sunday, I'm lecturing about liquids and hydration, which this artificial sweeteners this falls into it. I mean, not it's not only in liquids, is it? Like I put sweeteners in porridge. You know, like click, clicky coffee sweetener. Yeah. Um, porridge and milk, bit bland. You'd like to add some sugar or some golden syrup to that, wouldn't you? Yes, you would. But we're dieting. We're trying to stay slim. I'm trying to keep the sugar out. So three, I know three, I'm sorry. Clicks of like coffee sweetener. Spin that in and woo. Now it tastes sweeter, but we've not added in any calories, have we? Is it going to make a massive difference if, if I added sugar or if this lady added sugar? No, it's 20 calories for a teaspoon, isn't it? If you think that's worth it, you can have it. Do you think I really care about 20 calories? What are we doing? Are we nitpicking? That's a thimble in the ocean. You've got to burn three and a half thousand calories to lose a pound, don't you? Or 49,000 calories to lose a stone. You think I care about no 20? No, I don't care about no so it's up to her. She can spend the calories on whatever she wants. If she thinks that 20 is worth it, boom, you go for it. You spend it. As long as she's mindful and aware that that sugar's not zero, it's not free. Nothing's free in terms of calories except water. Everything's got even a, every other thing except water's got at least a few calories. So as long as she's aware that a couple of coffees a day with a couple of sugars per day might add another 100 calories into a diet or something, then fine. She can do what she wants. If she did want to get those calories back out and save that 100 calories per day to lose fat a bit faster or spend those 100 calories on something that might be a bit more filling, maybe a bit more food or something like that, then she could do that too. So if you want to use artificial sweeteners, you absolutely can. Like I was about to say, on Sunday, um, the liquids and hydration lecture, it's got a massive part about sweeteners, about artificial sweeteners, and all the evidence and all the lies that's been going around about artificial sweeteners forever. I'm not going to go on on this video about all the 
ins and outs of it and why it's fine and all the evidence and stuff like that because that's for the actual six steps to slim program which if you want some information on that uh, message through this page just say hey can I get a little bit more information something basic like that and then I'll send you some through if you're interested in how we can help you but I'm lecturing about that on Sunday the short version though is <clears throat> listen to this ladies, ladies and gents just just listen to my words just carefully and then you can leave it You'll, you can understand forever are you ready there has been no none no side effects ever shown from any artificial sweeteners currently available in any humans ever you think i'm kidding no side effects ever shown in any humans from any artificial sweeteners currently available ever not even single goddamn one no it does not cause insulin to rise no people of artificial sweeteners do not gain more weight no it does not mess with your blood sugar no it does not make you hungrier no they do not freaking link to cancer even slightly even freaking slightly that's not true there's been not even a single case of an artificial sweetener given a human cancer ever in the history of the entire world and you will not be able to find one so if you don't believe me and you're like artificial sweeteners cause cancer you pl please please go ahead you find me one one piece of evidence that that's true at all in the entire world post it to me and then we'll chat about it again you, i mean we won't chat about it again because you won't freaking find anything no it doesn't give you or anybody else headaches and no they're not giving you migraines either they've tested these things they've brought people in literally they've done these studies they've tested it it's placebo people are tricking themselves people don't even know how they feel sometimes like people are like oh this sweetener gives me a headache. They're like, oh, okay, cool. So they put out a little letter to, I don't know, in the newspaper or online or something. Anybody who thinks sweeteners give them migraines, come down, we'll test it. And then they give them something that they tell the people is a sweetener when it's not a sweetener. It's just, it's fake. It's not a real sweetener. It just looks the same. And then they're like, oh, my head. And they're like, yeah, well, funny that, isn't it? Because we've not even given you the sweetener. So you can use sweeteners if you want, ladies and gentlemen. There's loads of different ones. They all taste slightly differently. Um... Like there's aspartame, there's sucralose, there's acesulfame K, there's stevia, there's others. <laughs> I don't know, there's more. They all taste a little bit different. Try them. They're, they're pretty much safe. Aspartame's the only one that if you wanted to avoid any, I mean, you could avoid it, even though there's no evidence it's ever done anything wrong to a single human ever in the history of ever. You could still avoid it if you wanted to. It has given rats cancer, but literally the amount of sweetener they had to give the rats to give them cancer if you gave any mammal anything in that quantity you'd give it cancer i mean if you drink six liters of water in an hour you'll drown from the inside out you might die does that mean water's bad and we should stop drinking water no it means learn to swim and be sensible doesn't it for god's sake so the the safe upper limit you know for aspartame for sweeteners per day is currently recommended at 21 diet cokes per day and it's still fine. And if you're having that many, you've got other problems other than the sweeteners, in my opinion. Your teeth are probably going to fall out. Or you just your guts are just so acidic inside. If you're blasting 20 Diet Cokes a day, I mean, come on, man. We need to have a chat about something other than the sweeteners, don't we? If you're blasting 21 Diet Cokes per day. So should you use sugar or should you, should, should you use sweetener? You should learn how many calories you can consume. You should learn what calories are in things. You should learn how, how nutrition actually works. And then you can do whatever you damn well please. Um, education equals freedom, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we do at the Six Steps to Slim program. We liberate people from diet rules of you can't eat this, you should eat that, you should avoid this, you can't do that. How about you just learn how it actually works and then you can make your own decisions because you're an adult. Knowledge is power. If you want some knowledge for yourself, send me a message through the page and I'll tell you how we can teach you to take back control and release yourself from everybody else's boring and ridiculous dieting rules and then you can just understand how food and how your body actually works and then treat yourself like an adult and make your own decisions that's what we do we give the power back to you thank you for watching ladies and gentlemen if you liked the video give it a like if you care give it a share um want some more information message me like i said thank you for watching speak to you soon